Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, I wonder what day it is to, to today. Uh, yesterday was Tuesday. Day is after Tuesday. Wednesday! Yes! Wednesday! Today is Wednesday. Mm. Tomorrow? Tomorrow will be. people like that sorry my goodness what is your problem I, I I don't know what day it is tomorrow oh okay let's work it out what day is it today Wednesday all right let's sing our song Let me sing it then. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday! Yes. See, just sing your song. Okay. So tomorrow is Thursday, but today is Wednesday. Okay, that worked. Mr. Alligator, did you say good morning to the children? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Well, let's say good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Miss Alligator? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Mr. Alligator's funny today, hey? I wonder if he is excited about the story. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right, Mr. Alligator, you sit on the table here and then you listen to the story, okay? I am so excited about the story. It's a funny, funny story. Okay. But before we read the story, my doggy is asking to come in. Aye, aye. Anyway. Why do we have stories? Why do we have storybooks? Why? Not to play frisbee with. No, no, no. Storybooks are there for us to read and to look at the beautiful pictures and maybe we can learn something from a story to entertain us. Stories can make us feel so happy. The wish can make us feel sad or make us in our hearts feel that we want to help other people. Let's see. Today's story is called Mrs. Mooly. What sound does a cow make? Moo. Sounds so funny, hey? Mrs. Mooly. Let me see, who is the author? An author is somebody who wrote the book. The author is Jack Kent. The illustrator, that's the person who drew the pictures, is Jack Kent as well. All right. Mr. Jack Kent, we love, or I love your story. Here we go. But first, look at the book and see what do you think is going to happen in the story. Hmm, I see some fox. 
farm animals, don't you? So I know this story is not happening in a city. No, it's happening on a farm. That's right. There's a cow and there's a, a rooster, cook-a-doo-doo, and a goose and a goat and a pig and even a little mouse. You see, there's Mrs. Mooley. Okay, let's read. Are you ready? Are you sitting nicely? Okay. Look at this beautiful first picture. Gotta bend it a little bit. What can you see up there in the sky? Yes, the moon. How do you know it's the moon? Because I can see lots of stars as well, hey? Is this moody? It's sweet. Ready? There was something on the floor on the barn. Mrs. Mooley went over to see what it was. Why, she said, it's the book the farmer's little boy was reading. He must have dropped it. Mrs. Mooley couldn't read, but she enjoyed looking at the pictures. There was a picture of three men in a tub. There was a picture of an old woman who lived in a shoe. There was a picture of a cow jumping over the moon. What fun! cried Mrs. Mooley. She gave a little jump just for practice. Mooley came down with a jolt that shook the whole barn when she jumped in. Hey, squawked the hen, you just sling my eggs. What do you think you're doing, Kukulukuu? I am practicing, said Mrs. Mooley. I am going to jump over the moon. Can you show me over? Hold your hand like this. Show me. Over. Yes, let's go again. Over. Yes, Mrs. Mooley. Falling down on the bar in the barn floor, on the barn floor. With a crash. And there is the chicken not feeling very happy. Love the hen. Jump over the moon. You are so funny. She laughed so hard that she hatched two of her eggs. Can you believe that? Look at the little chicks hatched. The pigeon in the loft laughed at Mrs. Mooley. The mouse in the straw laughed at Mrs. Mooley. That is so funny. The goose wanted, what is so funny? The goose wanted to know. They could hardly stop giggling long enough to tell her. Finally, they gasped out the news. Oh, I don't think it's very kind to laugh at others like that. I don't like it when people laugh at me. I wonder how Mrs. Mooley is feeling. Honk, ha, 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 honk, honk, honk. The goose laughed so hard, she lost three of her tail feathers. The goose told the duck. Quack, 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 laughed the duck. The 
quack the, 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 du the duck told the horse. The horse laughed so hard he got the hiccups. What's going on? asked the pig. told the pig. The pig laughed so hard he flopped into a muddy puddle. Well, which he planned to do anyway. And when he came up for air, he told the goat about Mrs. Mooley. The goat laughed. The pig laughed, the horse laughed, the duck laughed, the goose laughed, the mouse and the pigeon laughed, the hen and her and her chicks laughed. They all laughed at Mrs. Mooley until it was bedtime. Just think what big noise it was on the farm, all those animals laughing. I wonder what the farmer thought. Hmm. All of the animals went to sleep. All except Mrs. Mooley. She was out in the barnyard, jumping up and down, up and down, up and down. All it takes is determination, she said to herself. And a little practice. All night long, Mrs. Mooley jumped and jumped and jumped, and the moon shone down from above. Mrs. Mooley was still jumping when a faint light in the eastern sky told that morning was coming. The moon began to sink in the west. Its trip across the sky was ending. The cock crowed, cock-a-doodle-doo! And one by one, the animals woke up. The moon was so low that it seemed to be sitting on the ground. In a few minutes, it would be gone. Mrs. Mooley had time for one last jump. See, there's the moon that is so nice and low, can you see? It was her highest jump ever. The animals saw the moon sitting on the ground. They saw Mrs. Mooley jump high in the air. They saw Mrs. Mooley jump over the moon. cried all the animals. She did it, she did it, she did it. And the piggy fell over in the mud again, just because he cared. You did it, Mrs. Mooley, they all shouted at once. You jumped over the moon. Yes, all it takes is determination, said Mrs. Mooley, and a little bit of practice. And that's the end. Bye, guys.